Hello again. In this video, I'm going to look for any differences in measured loss when using different winding types for in-fed half-wave antenna transformers. Once again, I'm using Ferrite 594-300-3801 cores. One pair wound in a way that the experts on Facebook and YouTube say that they need to be wound with the windings spread out a crossover in between and the other pair wound as tightly as I can get them let's look at some traces without any capacitors in place so that they don't skew the results for the cores with the windings spread out and the crossover at the top of 10 meters, there's a loss of 3.11 dB per core. For the cores with the closely wound turns, the loss is 2.28 dB per core. Now that's a difference of 0.83 dB per core. Now that's significant. And you can easily see that here when the two traces are overlaid. Now you might possibly think capacitors will make these more equal. So let's examine that by installing some low loss capacitors. Well now they're even more different. The closely wound core, that's now what I would call usable from 40 meters to 10 meters. The loss of 1 dB or less per core. It's not great, but it's usable. Keep in mind, 1 dB loss is only 79% efficient, so put 100 watts into this and you only get 79 watts out. Now the cores with the turn spread out and the crossover, well it just lags way behind, with more than double the loss at the top of 10 meters. As always though, don't take my word for it, measure these things yourself. If you like this video, please subscribe. More videos to come. Thank you.